right in this video, I'm going to uh, set up a ZFS pool in uh, RAID 1 slash mirror and also set up a Samba uh, container using Debian. So let's just go ahead and get started. So here I have my instance of Proxmox. So first you'll navigate to the actual uh, instance itself. Then we'll go to disk. In disk, you can see the two drives I've added. So I've added uh, two uh, six terabyte hard drives currently. You might have to wipe these disks depending on your setup, but this is where you'd click to do that. So from here, we're going to go to ZFS. We're going to create that pool. I'm going to name mine my pool. Select the two drives. I'm going to put them in mirror, which is RAID 1. Let's go ahead and create it. All right, that's that's created. So now I'm going to set up a Debian container. So from here, we can cl click on create container. I'm going to name this Samba. Go ahead and create a password. Click next. I'm going to use the template. If you don't know how to do this, please watch my video before this. Uh, size. And this I'm sort of uh, back and forth on how much I should add uh, for this because I definitely uh, don't want it to be slow. So choose these options the best you can, depending on how much resources you have. So I'm going to use four cores. Uh, memory I'm going with 496, 496. Uh, network. Here we'll uh, set up the network. All right, so this these uh, configurations will be different depending on uh, your current setup, but let me fill out mine and we'll give you an idea of what you need to do. All right. We've filled in all the areas. Let's go next. I don't have the DNS uh, servers. So from here, I'll click confirm and finish. Just confirm these settings here before you click finish. All right, so I got four cores, memory, 4096. Okay, everything looks good. Let me go back to disk. Okay. All right, click next. So we can go back to confirm now and click finish. Uh, you can download these notes if you want them. It's going to go ahead and exit out. All right. So from here, we'll be creating our uh, container. Uh, we got it going here. So f from this point here, I'm going to set up the resource. And this is where I'll add in the uh, pool that we created earlier. So I'll create a mount point for it. I'm going to select my pool. 
here there's there's six terabytes so I'm gonna do the max and I'm gonna create will be added into the container as my pool let's go ahead and create okay let's go ahead and start the container let's go click on the console let's go ahead and log in let's set up the Samba share all right we got logged in let's see if we can do a app get update and the reason why I say let's see if we can uh, I had a problem earlier with setting up the network looks like it's obtaining everything yep it got it all all right, well, let's do an app git install Samba. Click yes. It's going to do its thing. All right, from here we're going to add the um, share user so let's add user i'm going to call mine my user home all right we got them added let's go ahead and add the password form i'm just going to click through these because i don't really care to be honest Does information look correct yes all right Let's add them as a Samba, a Samba user. Punch in their password again. Okay, that user got added. From here, we're going to take control of the pool. I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So here it is right here where it says my pool where we pulled it in from our resource so from here we're going to make sure that that user has full control over that pool so here I'm taking control over it. full read write execute permissions All right, from here, we're going to modify the Samba config file. Okay. Uh, you'll notice there's a bunch of settings in here. Uh, you shouldn't have to modify any of these, but we will have to add some. I'm going to copy and paste my settings into here. I'll give everyone a minute to look at my settings. The reason why I have home and nobody uh, browsable, browsable as no, excuse me, is because um, the home directories were being pulled uh, for both of those accounts, so I had to um put browsable as no and then here you'll add the user where it says valid users uh whichever one you created all right from here we're going to do a control x we're going to save it and then we're going to do a system ctl restart the Samba all right and we should be good to go now so from here let's try it out let's go to Windows 
map network drive backslash backslash 192 and this will be the IP address of the server of the instance that we just set up Let's browse here. Hopefully it finds it. All right, there we go. Put in our credentials that we created. There's our share that we set up. And we'll click finish. And there we are. And if you notice, the share is added now. And it shows the, the terabytes that, that could be allocated, allocated for this particular share. So with that, that's all I have for this video. Please like and just, uh, subscribe if you uh, enjoy the content. Thanks.